Hello everybody, welcome to lesson four of the Roger Hudson Guitar Method. Lesson four begins on page 18. Let's get tuned up. Six string. Fifth string. Fourth string. string second string first string in lesson four we're going to begin working with melody and bass accompaniment at the same time this is when you play a bass note with P, and at the same time you're going to be playing a melody note on one of the higher strings, the first, second, third string, depending on where, where the melody starts. This is one of the uh, most confusing, I would say, strokes in fingerstyle and classical guitar playing because sometimes students will think that they should play like this, for, first of all, to get their hands in a position to where their thumb and their finger is colliding into each other. So you want to try to avoid that, have the thumb come out, follow through toward the left knee, and then the finger plays back toward the right elbow. They should miss each other. You don't want to have a pinching type of movement because you'll end up having to uh, pull your hand up like this, which is not a good a good idea, because if you uh, pull your hand up like that, you have to reset it every time that you have to play another note. So you want to keep the hand situated right over the strings. All right. One of the most special features of classical and fingerstyle guitar playing is the use of the right hand thumb to perform bass accompaniment while the fingers I am and A play melody and harmony. Uh, the first exercise on page 18 is OPA with bass. And if you remember when we played OPA without the bass, we had index in the middle playing, playing the melody. So I and M was con continuing will we'll continue this pattern uh, as we add the bass notes. So it's a simply adding a thumb, P, six string bass note. Okay? Let's try it. Open with bass. One, two, three, four. In the next exercise, we have blues lick with bass. This is on page 18. In blues lick, as you remember, we were playing the melody. Index and middle on the right hand alternating. We had just those three notes, the A, the G, and the C. Blues Lick with bass, we're going to continue the swing feel that we had uh, when we did Blues Lick, but we're going to add the fifth string bass note. So uh, you might want to start off with M on the third string. P is going to start on the fifth string. Here we go. One and two and three and four and... <laughs> The next
next exercise is called pentatonic prelude. And pentatonic uh, means five notes. Uh, so the basic scale that's used in this this song is a uh, pentatonic scale. One, two, ready, go. Notice in pentatonic prelude there are bass notes that are tied together. So make sure you don't play the second bass note, the one that's tied. The next piece is called Two Middle-Aged Elves on page 18. This one also has melody notes with bass accompaniment. We're going to go pretty slow on this one. This is also in 2-4 time, which means there are two beats per measure. One, two. Here's what it sounds like a little faster. One, two. Continuing on page 19. Lesson four, 12 bar blues is a 12 measure long musical form that is used in many songs, mostly in jazz, blues, rock, and country music. 12 bar blues lick is an example of how this form can be used. So before, on page 18, we were doing blues lick with bass, but we didn't change the bass note. We kept playing, we kept playing the fifth string bass note. On 12 bar blues lick, we're going to actually change our bass note. The bass note's going to go from the 5th string to the 4th string to the 6th string. And then it will repeat again, we'll go back to the 5th string. At the bottom of page 19, you'll notice there are two measures. The last two measures have brackets, and these are called endings. So when you go uh, to the first ending, you're going to go back to the beginning, and then as you play the song over again, you will skip that ending and you'll play the second ending to finish the song. Here's 12 bar blues lick. One and two and three and four and... Notice right at the end there's uh, uh, the letters RIT that stands for retardando, which means to slow down. Try to memorize uh, 
12 bar blues lick. It's a lot of fun to play and you'll find that you can kind of develop your own way of doing it, kind of develop your own style. See you in lesson five.